We will now have our children's talk, and I'd love some help this morning, some kids, youth who are here, please come on forward. We're going to be doing a little bit of painting today. Trust me, if I can paint, you can paint. So, come on down. Oh, and I need my notes. Let's grab those. All right, so... Today is the National Indigenous Day of Prayer. So I thought that we could paint the colors of the logo for the National Indigenous Anglican Church. So this is the logo, and there are four squares to paint here. There's a white, a red, a black, and a yellow one. So if you guys want to come around here, you folks, and anyone want an apron? How are you feeling? You're in. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay, so here we go. Grab a brush. Carson, you too, come on round. We had another brush here. And let's get our palette out here. Brianna, do you think you could squeeze some colors on there? You can try. All right. <laughs> Sounds a little tough. Okay. Off to a great start. <laughs> oh, wow. That is really tight. Okay. Anyone else with super strength? <laughs> We've got the yellow. The yellow has come. All right. This one's red. I know. It looks yellow. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Do you want to start on the yellow, Amiya? So you're that one down there. <laughs> oh, so you're just coloring in with a brush. Yeah. Great question. You know what? I think the paint holds the Okay. That's all right. As long as the paint comes out. Oh, paint them out. Okay. Should we get someone to unscrew it? Okay. All right. The yellow is going. Now we just need our white. Maybe we'll do it this way too. Emil, you had a really good question. You said, are we going to paint with... Oh, Emil is asking if we're going to paint with the original traditional shapes and symbols. Carson, do you want to start on the black? That's this one here. The congregation, Brianna. <laughs> All right, I'm going to read a little bit about what the colors mean while our artists are doing their finest work and while we're getting a little help from the crowd. So, here's everything you need to know about the logo for the National Indigenous Anglican Church. The logo was designed by the Reverend Mervyn Wolfleg of the Siksika Nation in southern Alberta, inspired by words and images of the Reverend Arthur Anderson, a Plains Cree from Punichi, Saskatchewan. Mervyn explains its many symbolisms. The fish at the center of the logo is formed by the overlap of two circles or two traditions coming together, the Aboriginal tradition and the European tradition. The point where they come together, yay, thank you, Brianna. The point where they come together in the logo is where Christ is to be found, represented by both the cross and the fish, which also contains the Greek letters of the Alpha and the Omega. The cross is surrounded by the four colors of the four peoples of the world. Our vision is of all races coming together. The fish and the cross also contain within them the initials of the Anglican Council of Indigenous Peoples. The eagle has always been a strong image for Aboriginal peoples. 
The eagle feather attached to the cross comes from Isaiah 40, 31. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. If people can come together, they will fly. The green in the logo represents our Mother Earth, and the blue, the waters of the ocean that surround the continents. Blue is also the color of hope for Aboriginal people. When we are watching for good weather to come, we look for the first signs of blue in the sky. Green is also the symbol of new growth, and red the color of the Aboriginal peoples. So that is the meaning behind our logo. Wow, you did an awesome job. Should we show the congregation? Not quite finished? <laughs> you guys want to work on it some more? Yeah, and why don't you bring it up and time for communion and we'll hang it up. We got a plan. All right. You can take this with you and we'll sing you guys down to Sunday school. Thank you so much. <laughs> 